Oh look, it's like I never left. Howdy ho, YouTube Major Chord here. Uh, please excuse that box fan in the background. It's hotter than hell in my dorm room and I'm not going to turn it off for your benefit. Um, today, uh, we're going to take a look at this Gatco Tricep Sharpener. Oh look, here's the camera. Um, essentially, it's like a chopped down version of one of the stones for the Spyderco Sharp Maker. And I purchased it in hopes of it being like something useful for a field expedient sharpening kit, something like that, something to go with a um, simple ceramic rod so I can touch up and hone blades um, if hypothetically I needed to do it on a road trip or, you know, something like that, just to have in a small pack, something like that. Um, we should count how many times I've said that in this video. But it is designed. <coughs> to sharpen. Oh, look, there's the camera again. Um, assuming it'll focus. Sharpen serrations, as well as fish hooks. Um, so there are several different little areas of it. You can run serrations along the corners, as well as the uh, flat of the blade along the sides. <coughs> but this was, I think, $6.99 off of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, and Gatco is actually a company that's really local to me. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure their base of operations, like their distributing center, is about a mile from my house. So that was a shocker to me. But, I mean, there's not really a ton to say about this. This is, I think, a coarse grit ceramic rod. So I'm going to need to finish off the blade with... I don't know where my camera is. It's weird. Um, I'm going to need to finish off the blade with this ceramic rod here. But... Let's get down to business. Essentially all you do is stick one of these angled bases on a table and essentially hold it there while you um, sharpen your knife and then you flip it over to the same angle um, on the other side and do the same thing. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I think it's worth a try. Excuse me while I get a drink of water. Uh, apparently the temperature up here is just sapping my voice. You see, normally I don't drink bottled water, but I have to spend the points for my meal plan on something. So I've been getting bottled water out the yin-yang. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so they, there's this little beaded chain lanyard. Uh, essentially you wrap it around your fingers and you plop one of the sides. I'm going to use the biggest flat here. Um, if I can get that at a decent angle, the biggest flat, and I'm just going to stick it on the table, and we're going to take the Swiss Army Knife, uh, Victorinox Classic, and we're going to sharpen it. It's the same motion <clears throat> as a sharp maker or the um, Lansky turn box. You just take the blade, and uh, this blade is painfully dull, by the way. It's not cutting anything right now, so take the blade and run it along the flat side of the sharpener. Now I just did 12. Uh, normally I would make sure to work up a burr, but I'm actually going to count each side and just see how fast I can get an edge on this. So I'm going to do 12 on the other side. And now I actually don't like this method because I have to use my left hand and I just switch things up. Um, and I'm obviously a very right hand dominant guy, so this is awkward for me. Now let's just see if there's any edge to this blade already. Okay, so in just 24 strokes, 12 on each side, this blade has an edge. Um, it's probably not the best edge, but it cuts. I would say that's very impressive. Um, it took a dull knife and brought it back to what I'd say is functional. And now I'm going to um, give it just a couple more passes on each side, making sure to use the same angle. I'm just going to do it slightly lighter. You know what? 
Now I gotta I gotta use my opposite hand for this. I was gonna just flip it over in my right hand, but that'll be awkward. Okay. Check and see the edge. Yeah, it's not a perfect edge, but this thing cuts now. So I'm going to move it on to the ceramic stone, which I'm just going to have to hold and... kind of work my freehand magic with, and I'm a terrible freehand sharpener, so again, this whole process is slightly awkward for me. And I just managed to dull the blade. That's fantastic. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. I mean, it's a working edge. There's my camera. It's not the smoothest. I could probably strop it up and make it better. But. In just. <clears throat> excuse me. In just basically five minutes of, you know, touching it up on these two implements we turned a dull knife into a fine working edge. So I definitely recommend this Gatco sharpener. Um, like I said, $6.99, you know, 7 bucks. You can find it many places. Uh, I got this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Highly recommended. Um, yeah, I'd say it's definitely worth it. And it's versatile, so you can use the flats, you can sharpen your fish hooks and serrations. I see really no problems with this other than the fact that um, this base is starting to loosen up so I'm gonna have to re-glue it but you know for a, a cheap little sharpener it works very well thank you for watching